Do I have an STD? Symptoms for STDs. Discharge. Okay, it's normal to have discharge, so what else? Pelvic inflammatory disease. Mm, burning. Chlamydia. It's okay. It's where, all right. where am I? You're at the hospital. You fell out. Are you okay? Yeah, a little bit. I can't move everything. It's like all of birth. Okay. Everything's okay. Um, there's just two detectives outside that want to ask you some questions to see what's going on. Is that alright with you? Oh, it's okay. Okay, and also, I would like you to fill out something for me. Okay. Here's a form. There's a pen. Thank you. Right back. How are you today? Not too bad. Well, we have okay. something that could explain that. When the ambulance came to pick you up, when the ambulance came to pick you up, they found evidence um, that might have led to you passing out, and they confiscated your laptop. And it, Why my laptop? Well, on your laptop, they found you were googling, "Do I have an STD?" Hey, Joan, I would like to ask you a couple of questions, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. When was your last period? My last period was April or May. Or it could be June. It got to be long enough. Yeah, I see here you don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, next question. What type of sex were you having? What do you mean? She means is... What kind of sex have you been having? Vaginally, anal, or oral sex? Nothing's ever went back here or in my mouth unless it's food. Well, did you use protection when having sex? Oh, yes, of course. Um, we even used two condoms. Oh, well, you might as well have used nothing because two condoms break and you're more likely to just use one condom and get better protection. How many partners have you had, Joan? Only three. Wow. Do you have discharge of any type? Yes. It's like white. Does it hurt when you have sex? Yes, I have like really sharp pains. Well, does it burn when you urinate? Yes, it burns like really bad. It makes me not even want to go to the bathroom anymore. Do you have pains in your lower abdominal? Yes. Well, when was the last time you got tested for an STD? The last time I got tested for an STD was after my first partner. After the second two, they told me that they was clean because they took showers, so I didn't get tested. I really don't think that's going to get them clean from an STD, June. And last question. Do you know if any of your, if any of your partners have an STD? No, they don't have no STD because i never seen anything on them. Well, Joan, you may have an STD, but it's hard to tell from the symptoms alone. And some STDs don't show any symptoms at all, so you might not see anything. It's okay, Joan, Dr. Wen. We will get to the bottom of this. I had so much fun. Yeah, that was great. Hey, we're back. Are you done yet? Oh, yeah, I just finished. Okay, so I thought I'd be able to pay you money, but I couldn't really find any. So would it be okay if I paid you in condoms? Those are the new Trojan ecstasy. Of course you can pay me in condoms. Yes. Okay, okay great. Here you go. No, no, no pay us in condoms. 
Now, make sure you use these right, because if you use them improperly, you can actually get an STD. So sometimes using two instead of one is actually worse. So only use one and make sure you apply it properly. And also make sure to know that you need to use it in any kind of sex, oral sex, vaginal sex, or anal sex. It's really important to prevent STDs. I surely will. Let me let you in on some. One in four U.S. teens has an STD. African Americans are, are at greater risk. Over two million U.S. teens have committed. One in three students at Young Women's Leadership Trial School know someone with committed. People in the United States have gonorrhea, more than 700,000. Most people with an STD got it from an infected partner who they didn't know who was infected. Oh wow, I didn't know that, but I'm glad I do now. New Trojan Ecstasy. Make sure you're protected. with a teenage girl experiencing pain in her little abdominals and pain during intercourse. And also she's experiencing, experiencing vaginal discharge. And do you have any idea what it could be? I see. Um, what color is the discharge? The discharge is white. Hmm. It could either be gonorrhea or chlamydia. Now what exactly is gonorrhea and chlamydia? Both gonorrhea and chlamydia are uh, caused by and bacteria. They're both curable STDs. Chlamydia lives in the vaginal fluids and semen. Um, it affects the genitals and the urinary tract. It's caused by a bacterium called chlamydia trachmotis. Gonorrhea affects the mucous membranes of the ure urethra in males and the endocervix in and the urethra in females. It can damage a woman's reproductive organs. It, it also causes discharge from a penis of an infected man. Both infections, if untreated, can lead to something called pelvic inflammatory disease, which can sometimes cause symptoms such as lower abdominal pain, pain during sex, pain during urination. Um, the worst is that it can lead to infertility in women. Okay, nice to know. Thank nice you, doctor. Line up, line up. Face forward. Man, I don't even know what I'm doing here. There's no way I have an STD. I mean, I don't have any symptoms. I don't have any discharge. I got no blisters. I got nothing showing that I have an STD. Totally, me either. The only time I was at risk was when I was in a pool and I heard chlorine because all STDs. Most STDs have no symptoms at all, so you wouldn't even know if you had one. And chlorine is not a disinfectant mm -hmm. or an antibiotic for STDs. So you mean you're still at risk for an STD if you go swimming in a pool with chlorine? That doesn't just kill the STD? No. Condoms. Hmm. It's still not me. The results are in. Two with the question mark are not allowed to go. We have further questioning. For you two in the middle, you're clean. Clean, you can go. Crabs, you can go. <laughs> Why am I here? We asked the questions here, not you. Do you want June? No. Yes, you do. It's been determined that chlamydia is the disease infecting her. Are you chlamydia punk? Are you? Is she infected? Yeah, she is infected. And we think that it's one of you guys. Her symptoms are lower abdominal pain, painful sex, and vaginal discharge. How can you convict me based on these symptoms alone? I mean, most STDs have either have no symptoms or they have similar symptoms. You know what? I don't have to answer your questions. I need a microbiologist. 
I start back and these are your results. Yeah. 